class online classes and we will discuss on a new topic okay and it is a very very important topic and so simple also so please don't pause the video pause the full video and after that you need to revise that concept also so let's begin today's topic topic is section formula in coordinate geometry we are studying section formula like that if you are going to divide a line segment from here so what is the ratio and what is the point coordinate of this point this is supposed to be this ab suppose the coordinate of a and b point is given to you and b is a point is divided line segment ab in two parts So how will you find out the coordinate of the point P? This thing is uh, we will find out by using the section formula. Okay. So let's take the derivation of the formula. So simple. We we'll take a straight line. There is a straight line AB. Okay. There is a straight line AB. This coordinate is x1 comma y1 of point A. Suppose it is a point P, and the co coordinate of point P is x comma y, and it is a point B, and the coordinate of point B is x two comma y. Now, this is the ratio. It means that it is m one, and it is. Now we will find out the formula. So we need to draw a uh, axis because we are working with the coordinate geometry here. So draw the perpendiculars from the point A, P, and B. Okay. So it is x1, so it will be also x1. It is x, so it will be x. It is x2, so it will be x2. Now draw. Okay. These are right angles. Clear. Okay. So it is then this one also. The y-axis so it is y one. It is y and it is y. Any problem? No problem. You can see the triangle A D P triangle. Similar triangle PBE. Why similar? Because this angle is equal to this. Okay. Because these are the corresponding angle and these are the right angle. That's why both the triangles are similar. And similar triangles property we have already studied in chapter triangle and we know very well if two triangles are similar. If two triangles are similar. So their sides will be proportional. So simple, we will use this concept proportional. What the sides are here? Triangle. It is AB upon PB equal to AD upon P equal to PD upon B. See, AB is the right sides for the triangle ADB. And PB is the sides for the triangle PPE. Same thing here. AD is the sides of the triangle ADP, and B is the sides of the triangle BP. Third, same thing here for third one also. Okay. Same thing here for third one. Now we will put the values of this one. What is the value of AP here? It is M1 and PB is M2. Now AD. AD. AD is just equal to this one. So x minus x1. X minus x1 upon PE. P is equal to x2 minus x. Because P is this one. This is also. So we need to subtract from whole. So this side. So x2 minus x. PD. PD. PD 
means y minus 500. Y minus 500 upon b b is y2 minus 5. Okay. So we will use two terms here. So m1 upon m2. M1 upon m2 is equal to x minus x1 upon x2 minus x. Got it? So we need to cross multiply. So m1 x2 minus m1 x equal to m2 x minus m2 x. Now transpose m1 x2 this x term it is x term. We need to write together both the terms. It is negative. So we will transpose it will be positive. m2 x1 equal to m1 x plus m2 x. Now m1 x2 plus m2 x1 equal to it is will take x common as m1 plus m2. Now x is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 upon this is the coordinate x. Like same we will find out the value of y coordinate. Same thing we will take here. We need to do cross multiply so m1 y2 minus m1 y equal to m2 y and minus m2 y. Okay, again we transpose the m1 by 2 plus m2 y1. Okay, now it is minus, so it will transpose is positive m1 by plus m2 y. Okay, now m1 by 2 plus m2 y1, y will be common here, transpose m1 plus m2. Okay, solution is there only. So y is equal to m1 by 2 plus m2 y1 upon m1 plus m2. This is the coordinate for y. This is the value of x. This is the value of y. Got it? Okay. So uh, this is the section formula. So we'll use this formula in the equations. So the ways are like that. One line segment AB is the coordinate are given and the ratios are given, so by that we can find out the value of x and y. Okay. Now one thing is more, if, now one thing is more, if line segment is, this is, okay, A, B, and point P is the midpoint. Point P is the midpoint, it means it will be M1, it is M2, both are equal or not? Yes, when both are equal, so M1 upon M2 is equal to 1 in every cases, or not? Okay, so in case that m1 upon m2, now we will put y. So 1 is equal to x minus x1 upon x2 minus x. So we will cross multiply x minus x1. Okay, now transpose x2 plus x1 is equal to x plus x. We will write to x is equal to x1 plus x2. Now x is equal to x1 plus x2 upon 2. This is the coordinate of midpoint. This is the coordinate of midpoints. 1 is equal to y minus y1 upon y2 minus y. Cross multiply to so y2 minus y is equal to, to y minus y1. Okay. Again transpose y2 plus y1 is equal to y plus y. We can write to y is equal to y1 plus y2 and y is equal to y1 plus y2 upon 2. This is the coordinate of midpoint. If t is the midpoint, so in those, that case we will apply this formula. Got it? So this is the today's concept. I hope you have learned it. After that, solve the exercise, the CRD exercise, that is 7.2. It will be very helpful for you. Okay, thank you everyone. Have a nice day.